Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today we're going to uh, use this uh, Thinks uh, Safe OBD2 uh, Bluetooth uh, scanner to scan this uh, 2012 Toyota Prius uh, plugin. So we're going to uh, locate the OBD2 uh, connector uh, below the steering wheel column. So it'll be over here. Be sure to match the connection. And when you plug in, make sure you got that green LED. That means you connected uh, correctly. Now we're gonna go to the push button and press that uh, twice, but don't start the car. Show my starts recording. So and then uh, go to your uh, smartphone or your tablet or your iPad or whatever. And then you're gonna open the app on the Android's uh, Thing Die uh, Plus, and with the iOS, uh, just uh, Thing Die. So I'm gonna show you guys when you try to read it, it might give you like a problem. And then I click on uh, Toyota. Oh, so this time it didn't give me, let me see if I try to read it. You gotta select the correct one. This is a 16 uh, pin. All right, so you gotta select which one, Prius, Prius uh, PHV, that's, and then the year. So I give you all this information, your VIN number and everything, that's okay. And then after that, you can click on health report. And it's gonna read all your uh, symptom or problem if you have any uh, faulty code, okay? By the way, this car should not have any uh, faulty code. Okay, this, uh, it says uh, transmission control. And then a traction control 40 core right there. Main body. Door motor, what? Navigation, what the heck? So it's almost uh, finished. So I just give you like a seven of those are uh, abnormal. And if you, there's a problem with this transmission control, I'm not sure what it's about. And then I'm not sure why there's a ABS or traction control. Just press OK. And 
So right here, I give description of the control module communication bus off. And if you want to clear a uh, faulty um, fault uh, memory, so yeah, if you want to clear fault memory and then read data stream. Let me see what's about the entry and start. Read faulty code. It says description last communication with body control module B U0142 and U0155. Description last communication instrument panel cluster control module. Well, anyway, the uh, reason I was trying to show you guys is because the Sometimes it says you try to change to a new uh, car or something with this uh, scan tool. It says uh, gearbox uh, info fail or something. You want to go ahead and then, uh, go back to the main menu. Quit. You want to click on the person right here on the lower right hand side. And then you're gonna click on the firmware fix. Uh, so you're gonna click on Bluetooth firmware fix right there. And make sure you have the internet, so you're gonna click on firmware fix. So yeah, be sure that you are connected and then so allow you to uh, read your uh, Bluetooth connection with your OBD2. Not sure if I need to start over, turn off the car, and stuff like that. Yeah, probably need to restore. So anyway, that's how you uh, do the update on the firmware fix uh, in case you guys have a gearbox uh, info uh, failure. There you go, it's uh, installing successfully Bluetooth firmware. And then after that, click on exit. And your firmware is updated, okay? Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell for notification or drop any other comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. I always. Peace.